All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream today, Factorio. Why? Um, for some reason, all my saves are gone, so I need, I need to play some Factorio. Also, I read that there will be a Starfield patch coming, and um, I don't want to get into the middle of something and can't get through it. So I'm gonna wait until the patch comes out and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna check audio here and uh, make sure it works. Okay, because I did this test yesterday and all of a sudden the mic stopped working. So that was weird. Hey there, Jerry, how you doing? All right, let's switch over here. And uh, let me just make sure, in fact, okay, there's my mods. So we're gonna make sure all the mods I have are in fact in the game. And anyways, I thought this would be a nice breath of fresh air, playing a brand new game of uh, Factorio. All right, so let me check my mod list here. God, it's noisy over there. Uh, let's see, um, to-do list, really? Oh, there it is, all right. Oh, I see, it's not alphabetical because of the check mark. Okay, we got Afraid of the Dark. Auto deconstruct, bottleneck light, clock. I don't think this mod works. That's personal construction bots save energy. Oh, it's only for the construction bots. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, Torch, how the heck are you doing? This mod hasn't been updated. <laughs> in two years. You know what? We're going to disconnect that mod. That one's not even the mod list anywhere. Uh, configure, oh, let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Disco science, even distribution, uh, far reach helicopter, mining, patch planner, nanobots. Then we have Pump? What? I do not have pump this to do. I need, I'll fix that next time. Power Armor Mark Three. Actually, no, let me add pump right now. Because I use it. So this is simply called. Um, we'd go in between there. Insert P U M. Oh, that's M. I did that wrong. Bump. And that mod is located here. Surprise, it's not actually in my list. All right, rate calculators. Fightertron extended. Yes. Squeak through train trails. <clears throat> uh, tree x ray. Uh, no. Okay, so confirm. You're at home sick. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, no, just, uh, load. All right. So, yeah. God, it's noisy. I watched three different Starfield videos yesterday, um, all talking about Bethesda patches, changes coming. <clears throat> and I don't know if these guys got the information from the same source, probably, but it sounds like there's a patch coming down the pipe for Starfield. So I thought this would be a great opportunity not to get sucked into something in Starfield and then not be able to continue it. Um, although I have a little bit of a workaround since I have a backup for the executable. Um, but also, um, for some reason, I am missing all my saves. They're in the cloud, but I disabled my cloud saves for this game. It was taking up too much hard drive space. Alrighty, so, um, I forgot how to play, there we go. So I need to make some more of these things. Uh, I also need coal or trees. Do I have any trees around? Oh, I do, sweet. Let's go grab some lumber here. And I think what I want to do is maybe... Oh, all right, so we're going to set up our power here. 
and use that coal. Something like that. Not much coal. Wait, how much coal is that? Whoa. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. So let's... We got to get iron going. That's for sure. So we're going to get this little guy. And this fella. I don't know why I'm being so weird with him. And then we have... Now, wait a minute. Hang on. Even distribution. Um... Do, 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 do. So we're gonna use trees until I can get the coal going. Nice. That. Then we want to make those. Those. Surviving Mars. Oh, nice game. Very nice, yes. Did I make another one? No. Oh, we need I need some stone. Walking so slow. There's some stone there. There we go. There we go. Hey, there we go. All right, then. Now, can I just do a shift? Oh, that's nice. Now, did that put... That only put 50. So, that's a, a distribution issue. Fuel supposed to put... Evenly distribute... Stacks, not items, stacks. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know why it only puts half. Uh, okay, I don't know why. Oh well, figure it out. So yeah, a little change of pace, a little factorio today. I've got all my chores done. <laughs> uh, let's take this over here. No, 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 let's take it over here. And um, set these guys up. Start getting the coal going. Oop. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Do you guys see my little DIY? I didn't really do anything. I just proposed a dilemma I was having with um, stuff. All right, so we need to get power going, right? So we need one of these. I need two of those. Let's uh, get four more of those. All right. And then. All right, so I want that one to go that one. There, there, and down, and that one. Oh, wrong way. 
There we go. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Sweet. Take all that coal. A little there it is. And let's uh, swap out. Oh, it's only 50. Oh, that's right. I thought 100 went there. Blah. Uh, we need to get some copper going. So I want to do the same thing on the copper line. Okay. One more of those. And okay, so let's start putting some stuff. I must grow. I steam. I can watch while I work. There you go. Oh, my day's just starting and so far so good. Yes. I was going to make waffles today, but I decided to have toast and a banana. So all's good. All right. So let's see here need to get some pipes those pipe uh oh wait uh so if i do oh i put wood in there dang it there we go there we go all right it's not a whole lot of those probably not a whole lot i need oh we need some poles there we go All right, so let's think about this. I'm gonna set the power up over here, way out of the way. Oh, I gotta make um, that. All right, so let's see here. So let's grab this and put it right right there and we'll do the boiler or the uh, furnace right the boiler sorry then that that and if we put a little fire in there then we got to do some power poles. Hang on. Oh, then we got to make. Oh, no, I don't have stuff. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back. Actually, what I want to do. Hang on. Uh, I want to go um, another one. Another one bites dust. Sir, I've taken the liberty of arranging your waffles in order of size and then brownness. <laughs> Thank you, Cause. Appreciate that very much. All right, let's go down and get some stuff. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's get all that. Then let's make sure. Pull, pull. You're almost out of fuel. You're not. Okay, you guys are out of fuel. So if we take this and do that. Distributed. Nice. And what do we got going on here? Pull. Oh, that's trees. Get rid of that. Trees. That there. All right, let's go get some more. Oh, you guys just keep doing that. All right. I need that. Need that. Do that. 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 All right. Oh, wait. Then I need to do that. Those two. Oh, tell you what. Um. 
it seemed like I didn't have a very productive day yesterday, but but it was at the end of the day. I, I did my job. I streamed. Um, I did a whole bunch of domestic things, run a whole bunch of errands, came back, and I set up my two workbenches, took a look at things. I don't think it's such an ordeal that I'm going to have. It's all about my extremely limited knowledge of woodworking and ingenuity that is going to have me overthink this. Um, did a quick video on a predicament, trying to get suggestions. Um, and then I went back to work on AdGuard, um, which tell you what, having AdGuard is so cool to be able to read gaming articles and anything on the web on my phone or on the computer and not be swarmed by uh, advertisements. Oh, so nice. However, Alex likes to watch um, a couple of YouTube channels that do uh, uh, cold cases. And um, one of the channels, the videos won't show up. In fact, somebody's tutorial video that I followed on how to set up AdGuard wouldn't play either. And the moment I disabled AdGuard, then it worked. So yeah, I'm dealing with one foggy morning. Hello, my baby. Oh, <laughs> I get it. So anyways, I, um, it's amazing, but, but YouTube is cranking down. So I've had to take them off, off your it. Oh, um, yeah, no, I, I, I get that. Oh, this is weird. Was that like that? Oh, okay. hang on. Um, and, and see, I, I get it. I mean, you, you can't, you don't want to block ads on, on YouTube. That hurts the content creator. Uh, you don't want to, and, and AdGuard for the most part, I'm using it for web page blocking. So why, why block ads if that's how content providers get paid? That's very true. I don't want to use, and I don't think you can use DSS, DNS filtering to stop ads on YouTube. It stops web page ads. And yes, there's plugins, but I don't want to have to keep adding a plugin to a browser on my phone or this to stop it. I want to, when I'm home, I want a solution. And it seems like either Piehole or AdGuard is the way to go. I just paid for YouTube premium for four years and I guess I'm not impacted. I, I, I have YouTube premium also. Um, and uh, see, I have premium. Uh, the thing, the and I don't know why AdGuard is try, it, and it doesn't try to. So I don't know what's going on. I don't mind ads, but there's just. Well, the the problem is on my phone. I remember the day on a phone when you're on a website and you got no ads. Now, like when I was trying to do our Halloween quesadillas and I was on the recipe web, there were so many unders and pop-ups and stuff. I was clicking on it to try to scroll, and it's just. It's Looney Tunes. I tell you, it's Looney Tunes. All right. I mean, what is your favorite don't get me waffle? wrong. I grew up in the days of, of, of TV commercials, you know? Uh, HR Valak, thank you so much for that follow. What's up? What is upper GTPR? I don't, I don't know what that. Oh. All right, so we got power. Yay. EU rule general data protection regulations. Oh, I got you. I got you. The irony is I got an ad for Forza and Old Spice and missed the conclusion of your story about ad blocking. <laughs> the irony. Um, 
Well, it, it's quite simple. Um, I have a little pie. Now, first of all. Hey, look at that. Ren, hey, thank you for the 38 months. Appreciate that. I really do. Um, so real quick, when, when I'm on my phone and I'm reading a news article about something local that happened, ads. I don't, I, I want to read the article. There you go. That's how you fix the ads. Um, and I understand that ad companies pay for their ads on popular websites or through a service like Google ads or, you know, other stuff. I, I, I understand that. Um, if a website has so many ads, I will stop going there. So it, it, if you want me to go there, don't put so many darn ads. I'll go. With YouTube having paid advertisements or commercials, that's fine. That's why I pay uh, for YouTube Premium because I want to I want to watch your content, but I don't want to be inundated by ads that you know you you get to that climax and all of a sudden an ad pops in. If I'm watching something on Pluto or Tubi or Phoebe and there's a commercial, that's fine. Except for during dinner time when they're talking about cancer. There's gotta be appropriate time for certain things. Just saying. So what I'm trying to do is to pre protect the household from surfing the internet for and, and having ads. And a good example is, let me show you here. Let me show you real quick. So when I was first playing around with AdGuard, here is an, an article and you can see there's an ad, right? And that's on, that's on Alex's phone. And then she was at work, but then here, same article, same spot, no ad. So it works, but I don't know why a particular YouTube channel videos will not play. And it's not ad blocking, it's DNS filtering. So I don't get it. They take any ads as well. Facebook, for example, showed an ad for some earring I thought the wife would like. Look, then up $2.99 and the ad was $29. I don't get it. I really don't. So, so what I what I have going on right now is on my router, I have an Asus router and in the configuration for DNS, you can actually pick like Google, Quad9, uh, and other ones and actually have an AdGuard in there. So I picked AdGuard, picking AdGuard through my router, Alex can watch that YouTube channel and ads get blocked. So, Oh, that's interesting. Well, YouTube is, you know, sometimes at work you need YouTube. I, I get that. All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go set up some drills. Can I make the drills? Oh, I can make some. So why am I playing Factorio and not Starfield? Well, I read yesterday, actually I watched three YouTube videos and I read an article. There's a patch coming down the pipe. I don't know exactly when. I don't want to be stuck in the middle of something and I can't play it. So I thought, hey, let me fire up Factorio. I, I haven't played in a, in a while. All right, so I'm gonna go over here where this coal is and we're gonna set up our coal source here, I think. Um, right. So I want to go, which way do I want the coal to go? Let the coal go that way, using those, using that, and using those. Miscellaneous settings. Oh, that's nice. Right, so that's the coal. There we go. Oh, what I need to do is drag a deconstruct. Put that, no, not there. Okay, that's fine. Say trees only, then drag that down there. There we go. 
then so anyways because of the problem i found that adgar does actually have a discord support and i went in there and um i got some suggestions they didn't work one of the moderators was telling me if i'm trying to block ads to use a, a browser plugin i go it's not just ads it's also phishing and tracking and stuff like that and then um i th i think he just got tired of me being in there and said here's your solution and that's not the solution i wanted so um uh, we got to make some more power cables here we go and then i told him i go look it, i want this also and i have a reproducible issue and i'm just trying to get help and then finally he says well i've never come across that issue before so i said well this is what i'll do i'll go back remove my ad guard installation which isn't hard and reinstall and i'll give you guys blow by blow in here and then maybe i'm doing something wrong and that's entirely possible all right oh we need to make some more of those and a whole bunch of those oh i also gotta make some of those All right, so if I if I do this, boom, nice. No, oh, oh, except for, hang on. Wait. Let's go back over to this coal source. I think this one is going to feed our power and that one's going to feed these guys until I can get all drained. I think. That was weird. Um, so what do we got here? One, two, three. So let's do a three to three. Then we have to do this. Hey, good morning, Edgar. How the heck are you doing? We're going to go from the blues to the yellows. Oh, I can't make splitters yet, can I? I cannot. I got to get some research going. You're sleepy? I went to bed at 9.30 last night. <laughs> I slept all the way until about 4. Um, all right, we need to do some research. We'll grab all this. Work blocks a lot of things, so I literally have something called Team Viewer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've used that before. Um, all right, so I need to do get a couple of those going. And yeah. I'm gonna come up here and grab all this coal. So let's do, hang on, can I do, I do this, there we go, let's put you, oh actually no no, I know what I want to do, what I did last time, and it worked out real well, so we're going to go there, 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 now let's get some power up here, okay, and then we're making the... Oh, I can't make the reds yet. 
Okay, so we gotta do this manually for a while. That's fine. That's all I had of those? Not cool. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do up here. I'm going through the trees. I've used TeamViewer and um, I used to use Google's remote a lot. And then for some reason, the support for that kind of fell by the wayside. All right. Um, so what do I want to research? I need to get that going and then those. All right. We need three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so last night we did kind of a fun dinner Halloween thing. We did chicken quesadillas uh, and we did, uh, we uh, Alex went and cut uh, jack-o'-lantern faces in one of the flour tortillas. So we put, um, we took some uh, chicken, cooked it in the Instapot so it's really nice and moist, and we shredded it. We added some uh, spices, a little Ortega, um, and then we put the, the um, we took a, a cookie sheet, put a little uh, Pam on it, put the flour tortilla down, put our chicken mixture, put some shredded cheese, put the other uh, flour tortilla that had the, um, oh yeah, the, those photos, and put the other, uh, uh, the Halloween face, and then we put it in the oven for uh, like 13 minutes at 425. They were pretty yummy, actually. I think we're going to try to do something hopefully this weekend out of the uh, Fallout cookbook. All right, so now if I do Shift-C, nice. Okay, cool. All right. I got plenty of copper. All right. Whenever I say copper, I always think of uh, Edward G. Robinson. Yeah, she? Yeah. Or is that James Cagney? Probably James Cagney. All right, let's uh, grab the science. That. Now, while we're waiting, get all that made. And Well, this is a turn of events. I had a great line about Captain Griswold and Christy Brinkley all set. I don't want to know what that would have been. All right, we got to go down and get some resources here. You're going to get me in trouble with Alex. She watches, by the way. I got plenty of copper. All right, let's make one of those. So to make red science, all we need, oh, so I'm gonna need another one.
Oh, and then let's make some of those. What's the goal today? Well, BMAC, I lost all my saves. Something happened. I moved uh, Factorio, which shouldn't have done anything to my saves. Um, hey, Lith, good morning. Um, I y Yesterday afternoon, I went to launch Photoshop, and for some reason it said my scratch disks on C were full, and I had almost no space on my C drive, which of course is where all my default locations for my saves were. So I changed uh, to a different hard drive, no problem. And I moved Factorio from a regular SSD to my M2 drive. And I went to launch it and I had no saves. So today's goal is, um, yeah, which is fine. I'm not terribly upset about that. Well, it, I'm using it. I took out some mods. Yeah, they're gone. Actually, they are they were in roaming, according to the research. I, I looked app, data, user profile, and roaming. Yeah. The folder was there, but there was nothing there. Um, I would like to get green, red, and military science automated today. That That's what my goal is. I turned it off uh, because I got an error on one of my games. So I turned off all clouds and it might've been a, a steam thing. So I turned it off. All right, I got, I got distracted. Yeah, I, I'll turn it on again. It's not, I mean, it's good if, you know, if I play on multiple PCs, right? Or if I, my PC crashes, my, my saves are, 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 but you know, again, it's okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? Oh, that's right. So I want to figure out how to, there we go. So this is going to make red science. There we go. Now for you to make that, you need a couple other things. So we're going to do that. Uh oh, we're out of those. There we go. Do that. Put another one of those there. Because that's going to be the cogs. I can't believe I said it like that. Cog. Make cogs, you guys need that. So we're going to put that there. Put a bucket there and a bucket. I call them buckets. They're not really buckets. I know. Hang on. What did I do wrong here? Weird. I have two versions of Factorio loaded, the portable version and then the Steam copy. So I have different set. Oh, interesting. Huh. Starting again, starting, you know, there's a games like Kerbal, Factorio, um, maybe Satisfactory. I don't mind the early grind of the games. I really don't. I think that they are fun. All right, so this one needs um, just copper, right? This copper, here you go. Oh, that goes slow. Then you need, which I don't have too much of, is that. Then you make it, put it there, and then we go there, sweet. Oh, uh, okay, hang on, we gotta go get some more stuff. Look at that, I'm all out of resources, stuff. And see, I do everything so inefficient, so hard that I don't, I don't suffer, <laughs> you know? Yay. All right. Give me those. Give me those. And we need to make some of these. So if I go 510, 510. Uh-huh. It's going to take a while. Oh, well, it's it's some things like. Um, oh, 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 you know how on an over and under you can actually grab 
or put on i didn't know you could do that i i i was totally flabbergasted i thought it had to come off an actual belt so those things yes probably the greatest secret secret the the tip i ever got was uh q q is awesome and also direct insertion i thought oh I, okay All right, so let's run all this stuff up. And, uh, um, bowl's looking good for right now. Run over here and get the coal line. I mean, the thing is, People that have got that sense of ingenuity or engineering, when they look at a situation in Factorio, they know exactly how to fix it. Me, I, I, I fumble through for days. I still don't have enough. Fine. The in-game tips they set up in volume one are almost better than the tutorial. I prefer reference manuals over tutorials. I don't think I've ever looked at those. All right, so we gotta go get um, more stuff. Oh, 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 I got you, I got you. The, the in-game tool tips, right? I got you. All right, so um, let's see, I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take a big risk. No, no, no. Last time I did that, it was like suffrage. <laughs> ah. All right, let's run all this stuff up here. What I usually do that gets me in trouble is I think I have enough resources and I'll demolish a setup, put in a new one, and I don't have enough stuff. Oh, okay, so I did something wrong here. I should have a little uh, little hopper here instead of this. Yeah, let's do, let's, um, let's do this, hang on. No, no, stop. So let's put a bucket here, but only put like one tick. Oh, I should have copied it. All right, this is the science. These are the cogs. Need a bucket. That gets all the copper and that gets what little I have. All right, so let's just make sure this works. It's really slow, look at that. Oh, all right. Probably right. All right, so what's the next thing I want to work on? Um, that. Okay. All right, I got to focus on uh, getting the coal up to my power. So let's uh, let's go. Let's get on that, shall we? I did, I did. They're at uh, 25, 25, and 25, so yes. Is that one? Oh, 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, I can't make four. All right, so hang on a sec. Let's uh, push it. Oh, geez. Oh, I did it now. Do this. I want to maximize my... Uh... So if I can put that there, and put that there, that there, that there, and then... There you go. All right. I don't think I, I really, um, I don't think I can play. What, what was that one? Uh, two zero four eight or something like that. I tried that one really. And it just, it fried my skull. I hate to say it, but I think I need more of this stuff to keep up. So it's cool that we're going to get upgraded rails. I'm looking forward to that. Not that I do really good with trains anyways, but I'm looking forward to it. I saw some interesting answers or uh, questions about, will you be able to walk on the elevated rails? Yeah, I never thought about that. All right, there we go. All right, let's, um, those made. Andy, you try this Halloween mystery flavor, Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It's wild cherry nerds or something. I have not. Uh oh. By when I before I started drinking diet version, which by the way, if you ever look at the ingredients of Diet Mountain Dew, so when I had my comic book store, I had a chiropractor next door, and in there they had uh you know. Uh, three individuals, uh, ladies, that were masseuses, massage therapists, licensed, very legit. Um, one of them was a also a nutritionalist. And when she saw that I was drinking Diet Mountain Dew, she goes, oh, isn't that horrible tasting? And if you don't have a palate for it, yeah, it is terrible. But she looked at the ingredients, she goes, and she told me, she goes, when you look at the ingredients of something, that's usually in order of quantity, you know? So this has carbonated water, and then the next one, concentrated orange juice. So it's my, it's my orange juice. I'm having OJ. I love the inflictions they've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. All right, so we need to do this uh, 3d3 again. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to put it out here a little ways. And I need to change that. There we go. Did you look at bromated vegetable oil? No. Do I want to? Sounds gross. Oh, oh, that's why there's no power. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Hang on. Oh. 
Ooh, really? Gross. All right, so now. Yuck. Now I want those. No, I am. Um, it's interesting over the past month. Well, over the past three months, my stomach will hurt and I haven't nailed down if it's my occasional monster ingestion or iced tea. So I'm trying to uh, figure that one out. And usually it goes away the next day. So it could have been something heavy I ate. I don't know. But usually if it bothers me the next day, I go and get some Prilosec and then it's, it's gone. Oh, geez. Tip of the day, when placing belts, you can just, I, okay. So someone told me about that. So if I do, okay, wait a minute, hang on. So if, so if I go like this and then, oh, okay. That's going to be a hard habit to break though. Thanks, Intrex. Too much sweet tea does me dirty. <laughs> yes. All right. So I want to uh, make more of these. All right. So I'm going to have to go get some more supplies. You know, sometimes old, old, old horses can't go to new water holes. Does that make any sense whatsoever? <laughs> All right, somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong here. Why is, um, why are only some of these getting filled to 25? Oh, I ran out of coal. Never mind. It just, sometimes old school is more, you know, it hits here before trying to do the, like Intrex was saying about the, the, the things, uh, the put down the rails. Oh, I just picked up old, didn't I? I've got it. That's better. All right. So, um, right. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> it would. <laughs> I didn't know Codsworth would laugh. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's true. Hide a, hide a, hide a. No, that doesn't work. All right, so I need to um, grab this one. Oh, okay, that it works, but I fumbled. Not like in football. 
Where's the rails at? They're there. Really? The, uh, the one hiccup for me doing the R thing is for some reason I have this rarity with games, depth perception. I, I can never see something that's going to line up correctly. I have to do it kind of like from both ends at the same time or separately. That didn't make any sense. All right, so while I've got smart people in chat, let's talk about my little predicament. <clears throat> I, I posted a short little video about my two workbenches. And you know, it, it's one of those things when to Phoenix where- Phoenix asked me, can you make soup out of Factorio biters? Oh, for heaven's sake, what kind of ridiculous question is that? Making soup out of biters from a video game. Do you have any soup recipes? that actually exist in the real world? Or are you just hungry for attention? Wow, Gordon. Yeah, it, it's, I, I even have the problem in, um, in stationers, trying to get wires or pipes to line up. All right, so we ran out of coal. I need to get more stuff. I didn't know Gordon was in there. Oh, you got to go through the... Uh... Wait a minute. Hang on. Where's my stream at? No, I, I think the you have to go to... Um... Hang on. I think the only way that shows up... Bear with me. Yeah, it's on the screen, yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, they added a bunch of stuff on that. I can't control that sometimes. What are these bots in the early game? The extension, yes, Quad. Uh, they are called Advanced Construction Bots. They are a mod that's in my mod list. Wait, what am I trying to do? Oh, I'm gonna get some stuff. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I, I stop using them as soon as I get nanobots. All right, let's get some coal. I tell you what, if you had to have power for the conveyors to work, I would not like this game. Mm -mm, no, I would not. Wait, which one of these has still got wood? I saw lumber. I thought I did. Uh huh.
There they go. Build my little four wheeled friends. Build. There we go. Yay. So if I'm going to steal some. Really? I was kind of looking forward to that. I'll be very honest with you. Is that like a level of micromanagement you don't want to have to uh, worry about? Why can't I make those? Oh, I need stuff. Why can't I make those? Oh. That's fine. Yeah, I like art, you know, your 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 uh your tools and weapons, the more you use them, they wear out and you have to repair them. It does get to be tedious. <sighs> All right. What else do I want to research here? Um, green science sounds good. Oh, nanobots. Yes, please. Better gun. Queue up a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, it would be. And, and unless you have, like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it would be. You're right. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> All right. So what I need to do is I want to get my iron automated. So we're going to come down here. We're going to drop drills and drag down. Ren Fionix asked me, who makes a better sandwich, Cyborg or Flash? Oh, it's a real sandwich showdown. Cyborg may have the gadgets, but Flash's super speed could make for one quick and crispy Sammy. Either way, I hear they're both a bit fast food. Ha! OMG. My favorite part of the new rail level is probably the fact that you can build over water without landfill yes yes i wonder if there's a limit though or if that's part of the construction you know when you're going over water you have to have concrete or something like that all right so what do we want to do here we're going to have a bunch of drills which i'm making right now yeah 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 all right so we want to do some early smelting so let's set up four of these. Let's do, uh, I'm going to do four. Four, four, four. Oh, sorry. We're going to give it some space here. So go, uh, one, two, three, and four. Now we have to downgrade all this. So I need to go from that to that and then we have to go from red to yellow and right Uh, what happened? Is coal not getting to the power? There's no power here. Uh-oh. 
What did I do? What did I break? Run, 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 run. All right, so I see power lines. There's coal. Um, hang on. Those don't have power. Oh, those need, oh. All right, this is what happens when you don't use a coal version of the rail, got it. All right, so if we put a little bit of coal in there, there we go, all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was my bad. All right. Currently, I use the mod beautiful bridges to build over water. It will be nice to have them in the base game. I agree. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I have been very happy with Factorio. I like how you can have fun with the game. It's got a huge modding community that supports the game. And you can play this on a potato of a PC, as long as you don't overload it with mods. Am I right? So I need to get a bunch of stone. So we're going to make um, one of those. High speed, how the heck are you doing? <laughs> Can confirm, spud computer. All right, let's grab this and, uh-oh, that, and we're gonna do that, there we go. All right, let's make a whole bunch of um, oh, I need more stone. Crimson, how you doing? How's the gas? <laughs> it says Crimson Parter. All right, so. Well, I, I do recommend Gas X or Pepsi AC. I'm not a doctor. Saturn, good morning. How you doing? Hey, Saturn, weren't you the one also that were going to give me some tips about pie hole? Are you in Discord by chance? I just hit you with like 14 questions. You're going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. Have I been playing Factorial long? Uh, yes, but it doesn't mean I'm any good at it. That's my disclaimer right up front, okay? <clears throat> yeah. Um, Thank you. Uh, no, I'm not. Can't log in to Discord from my Raspberry Pi for some reason. Oh, I got you. All right. Well, I was I uh, pie hole. So he, <clears throat> I got a couple of weird projects going on. One, right now I'm using AdGuard through as my DNS. 
my my Asus router allows me to pick their public. I could also put in their IPs. So I'm getting AdGuard through that. However, I do like the option of running it locally and disabling it very quickly. Um, I have a Home Assistant on my Raspberry Pi, but it's not Raspberry Pi with Home Assistant installed. It's actually Home Assistant OS. So it's their version of Raspberry Pi. Um, Pi Hole, the author or whomever actually pulled their add-on from Home Assistant. Yes, Frank, Frank, you're right. So I can't, I can't easily install Pi Hole like I thought I was good. So what I did before, which was a lot of fun, I installed the latest version of Raspberry on my on my Pi 4 headlessly. And man, it was so cool. I mean, I was having flashbacks to the days that I used to work on Unix, you know, SSHN, using VNC, all that sort of stuff. It was so fun. But when I install Home Assistant that way, I don't get the add-ons. So, which is very helpful because for me as a non-Linux person, trying to install add-ons manually well, it's hard. It really is. So I went back to the Home Assistant OS and I, they do have, someone created an add-on, so I have SSH, uh, I have a terminal I can get to, um, but it's highly recommended that you don't go in there and try to install, you know, I mean, you can install Docker and stuff like that, but trying to modify things and hack the Home Assistant OS is gonna cause a lot of problems. So I can't install Pi Hole, but it would be very difficult. So I installed AdGuard and it worked, except for Alex has a, uh, a cold case YouTube channel that she likes to watch and none of the videos would work or some of them wouldn't work. In fact, the tutorial I, I followed to install AdGuard, I can't watch that channel either. When I disable AdGuard, then they work. And it has nothing to do with ad blocking. I, and, and to the best of my knowledge, DS, DNS filtering can't stop that stuff. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. So kind of put a, a hold on it. Trying to install it myself. I need to get some more stone. So I, I was looking for you in Discord to ping you to see if you knew anything. And that, so I'm glad you're here so I could ask you. That was a lot of information, I know. I love my Pi 4. It's amazing. Such a small computer. I watch 720. I get it. I do. All right. So I want to make two more of those. Sweet. Oh, then we need um, a couple of those. All right. Let's get a little bit more juice going here. Well, actually, if you can look into AdGuard for me, that would be a, a lot more helpful because, like I said, I either wipe out my Home Assistant install and go with Pi, then Home Assistant, and not have add-ons. And again, if there's someone that can point me to tutorials and stuff like that, I follow the directions really well. Um, and then I like Home Assistant because, well, um, I found a lot of stuff I can do on my stream deck with my home automation, which is really awesome, by the way. Um, okay. We got, we got the power. How's the pollution? Oh, dear Lord. Uh, all right. So, um, You should get an old tiny PC on eBay for like a hundred bucks or just an old PC and set up Proxmox on it. And have a ton of different uh, VMs, virtual machines, containers to do different things by a whole home assistant. Yeah, I, I probably should. But I tell you what, right now, since I have a Raspberry Pi, that's what I'm gonna use. Um, because moving into a new house, there's a lot of stuff I got to change my priorities. One, get my garage all set up. 
All right, what am I what am I focusing on here? I'm, I'm losing my focus. Uh, I need some stone. So Saturn, are you familiar with Docker? Is is Docker absolutely necessary from ins for installing apps natively on a Pi? All right, nanobots. All right, so let's go down here and grab some of this. To oh, look at this. Look at all that. Yum. All right. Docker is not needed, but can be a good way to isolate things. All right. So that's a different process that do not interfere with one another. All right, all right, I get it. I mean, I, I did successfully install Raspberry. I installed Docker and then I installed Home Assistant in a Docker container. It worked fine. I got I got uh, Home Assistant up and running, but like I said, all the add-ons were missing. So, I don't know. Um, oh, I, I need to make a gun. Where's the guns coming in at? Oh, uh, hang on. Let's um, do guns first, and then we'll do that. There we go. Yep. You don't need Docker for general apps, depending upon what you're installing. Okay, so I don't need Docker. You can use uh, the built-in package manager for most things. Agree on isolating stuff, although generally... Well, so here's the thing. I want... With my Raspberry Pi, I want Home Assistant, I want the add-ons. Um, and the add-ons I'm using are like AdGuard, but again, if I can install that normally, then I don't need the add-on. So you guys need to get into Discord so I can ask lots of questions. Uh, Torch was there, he was, he was chiming in. You guys need to do it right now. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna need... Um, I know torts, I know, I know, I know. We need a bunch of drills. Let's get those going. Okay. All right, so in the tech channels where I've been talking about it, so that what I'll do this Saturday is I'll completely reinstall Raspberry, all right, on my Pi and um, Again, what I'm looking for with home assistants, they have the, um, what's the, uh, hang on, hang on. I got to minimize something here. Uh, Visual Studio for when you have to edit scripts and do automations and entities. So that being able to edit stuff versus the default, what is it, VI or Pine or something like that? No thanks. So installing home assistant, any add-ons that they have like AdGuard, uh, VS code and stuff like that. They're out there on GitHub to install. I just don't know how to do it. I don't mind learning. Nano is the editor. Oh, that's what Network Chuck was using. Yeah, he loved that. But see, he's a big Linux guru too. All right. So let's go set up some drills and thrills. I put a W in chat accidentally. All right, let's see. Should should I chance this yet? Uh, no, I don't want to chance it yet because I don't have enough stuff made down here. Yeah. But we can start getting the drills made, that's for sure. So if I come up here and do, what's that say there? Don't deconstruct, don't deconstruct. Okay, I guess that's what I want. Oh, no, no, no. I did it wrong, no. Oh, I did that so wrong. Sorry. 
Wasn't paying attention. Well, it's what I'm saying is this weekend, I'm going to start down my rabbit hole again. There's the Gamer Circle Discord. I don't have a, I, I've been using the tech what channel. What's your favorite waffle? Grim, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh, my favorite waffle. I'm making waffles tomorrow too. Um, that's my favorite waffle right there. I made that waffle. That's my waffle. All right, so what do we need down here? Let's, um. I need a lot more stone. All right, let me go find more stone. Did the gun, can I make the guns yet? Oh, I can make the guns. Make some, oh, I got armor. I'm making that one. All right. I gotta go down here and find some stone. There's some stone. By the way, the music you're listening to is the Factorio soundtrack. So that's what I'm going to do this Saturday. I'm going to reinstall Pi on or Pi OS on my Raspberry. And uh, I'll get Home Assistant installed, and then I'll be looking for help installing. If I don't need Docker, I just need help installing like uh, a good editor. I'm used to VS Code. Um, VS Code is actually as an add-on for uh, for Home Assistant. Do I need trees. Eh, all right, whatever. Get all that. Add guard VS Code. Home assistant. That's what I'll be looking. For. All right. I got me some stone. That's good. Excellent. Well, uh, you guys tell me if this is true or not. Um, well, I have to say, I think I was on Adgar's site when they were looking they, and they were showing a comparison. Um, mainly, so as a very novice individual in this little neck of the woods, I was going to go with Pi Hole because several people I know have Pi Hole, but I couldn't install Pi Hole as an add on through Home Assistant. So I went with AdGuard. So. Um, the main difference between AdGuard Home and Pi Hole is the privacy feature they offer. Now, this was September, 2016. So this was one of the articles I read. Oh, there's stone right there.
Okay, let's put the bullets here. Get rid of the gun. There we go. Now I can defend myself properly. All right, so we need to go on a full-fledged, uh, uh oh, hang on. There we go. Let's make a whole mess of this. I think I'm faster to make that versus setting up some automation. Saturn, do you have pie hole running? And Torch, do you have pie hole running, right? Yeah, if I were doing home assistant, I would go with AdGuard. I tried home assistant and hated it. Well, hey, Mookie, Bucky. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. There's a guy who knows his Factorio. Oh, you know, it's going good. Always. Guys, there's a link there for Mucky. Mucky. Mookie. Mucky. I forgot how you pronounce it. It's pronounced Fuki. <laughs> Mookie. Gotcha. All right. Um, give him a follow, please. I would appreciate it. I'm sure that anyone that knows anything about uh, Factorio, you guys know him. Once Lee, how you doing? Mooky. Gotcha. All right. I said mucky, didn't I? That's bad. I'm sorry. Not mooky. <laughs> all right. All right. Go with Fred. Faceless is being a jerk. All right, faceless. Be good. Be kind and rewind, you know. Yay, nanobots are done. All right, so I need, um... What else is new? Hey, Silent, what's up? Uh, I need... Those. All right. Looks like we still need a bunch of this. I'm taking a little tiny break from Starfield because there's a patch coming out which will break my game. I have a way around it. I just don't want to do it. Hey, Veldak, what's up? You pronounce it... The C is a K. Wouldn't that be the other one around? So, so... Moochie? Bucky? Um, well, because I play modded. So when they update the executable, it'll break my mods. Yeah, I know. <sighs> uh, so we got all the, all those in. Uh oh, then we need a bunch of these. Now I do have a mod installed call, called auto backup. So what it does is it backs up my executable. So that way, if they update the executable, I can actually just rename the updated one and put the backup in and I can still play. But that means that eventually I have to update. So I might as well just not play, let them patch, wait for the mods to update and then hop back into it. That's how I look at it. But what am I missing? I'm just missing inserters, okay. 
All right. Ran out of fuel. Really? All right. Let's go up and get some more fuel. I got itch on my neck. Seriously? Weird. So anyways, I decided to have, hop back into Factorio and somewhere down the line, all my Factorio saves are gone. No, I don't have cloud save turned on because uh, I got an error once. I'm pretty sure it was a Steam issue. So I turned it off so I could play my game. I just haven't turned it back on. And since I love playing the game, starting from scratch is no big deal. All right, so... Um, How am I gonna do this? So I got I got coal over here. Yeah. And let's research. Oh, I got nanobots, don't I? Well, let's get that researched. Do I have nanobots? Oh, I do. Well, there we go. Um, how do I do this? So I need to turn off pump with those guys and then toggle them off and then take them out and put pump back there. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, get the nanobots going with that. Oh, wait. Uh, I made a mistake. Can't work on that one yet. Whew. Uh, let me guess. You guys ran out of resources up there, right? Second. Coming. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. That was weird. I don't know how that got marked like that. Weird. Naked pets. Weird. Here we go. Hamburgers. Nice. I don't know what we're having for supper tonight. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? If you own an air fryer doing a frozen hamburger, you sip, you put it on like 390 degrees for 10 minutes. You do a flip every five minutes. Pretty good. Tortellini and cheese sauce. Oh. Alright, so is this stuff basically ready? No, I'm still missing insurgers. Alright. <laughs> and a slow cooker, gotcha. Now, we invested in an air fryer. Um, and what's funny, the air fryer we got was Corsini. It was a name brand. 
We had it for about a month and the display went all hieroglyphic on us. I sent them a picture of it in a video and they actually sent us a replacement. And then after a couple days waiting for the replacement, the display started working fine. So we actually had two. Um, and so when we moved into the new house, we only needed one air fryer because we have a, an LG oven that actually has an air fryer function. So that's pretty cool. So we got our Instapot, our air fryer, our oven, microwave, toaster. I had toast this morning. As it is, my toaster gets stored at the top of my fridge. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. All right, so this is running okay. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is make some hard choices here soon. Still waiting for some stuff to be made. Whoa, that's a big laundry list there. Oh, geez. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, actually, let's, um, let's dig these up. There we go. And we're going to use this to feed these things. So I need to do... Um, let's go to the right. These all dialed in. Ooh, sweet pickles. All right. Do I have a bunch of, um, I don't. A bunch of those in queue. So those of you guys in chat that have a good sense of ingenuity and mechanical know-how, I posted a short little video on my YouTube channel that I'm trying to take two workbenches and merge them together. And uh, I don't think it's gonna be very hard at all. I just think I'm overthinking because I wanna make sure things are plumb and level and, and flush and all that kind of stuff. So this Saturday, I'm gonna take a hard look at them. And uh, I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna, the, they're sitting right next to each other right now. They're, they're, they're butt up against each other. And I'm gonna take some clamps and clamp them. And then I'm gonna roll them on the side. Take all the stuff off, roll them on the side. And I wanna make sure the feet are all level. And if they're level, then I'm just gonna drive a bunch of four inch screws through the two by fours, maybe some lag bolts. I don't know if they're long enough and get that all lashed together and then put uh, casters on them and then roll it back over. And then I'm gonna deal with any sort of unevenness. And also my table saw, the, uh, the, uh, the bed is, is about, I think it's five eighths in short. So I have some room to work with. And I have some uh, leveling feet that I think I can attach to it. That would raise it and then I could like start fiddling with them and then I can uh, uh, lash the table saw to, to its workbench. And uh, then I'll have a nice big workbench, nice wide one. And I can use the, I can lower the table saw, take off the fence and have some more room to work. 
And then if it's time to cut, I put on the fence and raise up the blade and I have a nice outfeed table. I'm very excited about that. All right, so here is some coal that I'm gonna use for down here. So I need to do this into a, oh, let's see here. So I'm gonna have the 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 iron, the, uh, the copper go that way, which is strange because that's in the way. Um, what a predicament. Need to get some power. Do I, I got power poles. So if I go... Alright, that takes care of the power. And still missing inserters. All right. So let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna do a split out of here. We're gonna do something to a four, and then also I have to bring the coal over too. Just waiting for stuff. To, oh, here comes the inserters. Yay. I think what I can do is on the power. I'm just come straight up here. There we go. Uh, see how we're doing on our. Uh, science production here. Plenty of that, plenty of that. All right, I got plenty of stuff up. All right, so while I'm waiting for all this stuff to make, let me go do a uh, pollution perimeter check here. Um, all right, let's head this way. up any fish yet bit of a land bridge here nice Another patch of iron, sweet. Each time I look at the map and I see this heavy concentration, I think it's a biter swarm pool. Oh, look at all the trees. Yeah, they're gonna have to go.
All right, so it looks like no threats in the immediate vicinity. Patch of coal. Nice. Not very big. More water. Go down here and check this corner. Oh, I'm gonna go swimming. Excellent. Wait. Um, let's work on more belts. Inserters. All right, let's uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Why? How is that? Oh, it's an auto deconstruct. Oh, I got you. Right, hang on, let's do this. Put that there, that there. So let's get the power poles connected here and there and uh, there. Need that there. Um. Oh. That's fine. All right. So we basically have three. So we'll do a three to three to three again. So we're just going to copy this one over here. Boom. take a big risk here I'm 
load up on all this iron. These are just drills. I only got 30 of them, but I can make more. Sweet. All right. So that's ready for smelting. So let's see here. We're going to put the coal on the right side. All right, big risk, here we go. I'm gonna demo all of this. Then we're going to say we wanna go down. All right, here we go. underground train DLC for surviving Mars. I don't. Sounds very useful. This is where I get in trouble. So basically I need to create a one, two, three, four, four. Oh gosh, do I have enough room? I need a four, four, there it is. Um, yeah, I guess I can make this fit. Oh, okay. All right, we need to make those So I need to um, run my coal. See here, if we do that one for, okay, so let's do the, this one.
Boy, oh, you gamer boy. Uh, Red Munchkin, how you doing? All right, hang on. Let's uh, get rid of these for a sec. They're in the way. Future planning has always been one of my big problems. Red Munchkin, how the heck are you doing? Guys, Link. Follow, ooh, Juno, New Horizons. Wasn't that Simple Rockets 2? Isn't that what that was? Um, so we want to do this. Yeah. There we go. Oh no, not that dilemma. That's like all these cables on, all these channels on cable and I can't find anything to watch. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right, let's see here. Um, let's get this connected. All right. And then we put a, oh, okay, I don't have a splitter yet. Go. Playing with as I'm I'm strapped for resources here. I've never played Gra Graveyard Keeper. I own it too. All right. No, no, no. Uh, oh, wait, that's right. Through all the TV services we have, and there's only like four programs to watch. Yep. All right, we are running out of stuff. Now, wait a minute, if I put this there, <gasps> ooh, I put coal in there, so yay, that's gonna make some stuff. Yay. Yay, it's a little things. Let's get, I got power poles. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get copper because copper's pinched between, uh, see if we go down, now if we go left, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the left. That means that's gonna get in the way. Um, all right, power, right. We're going to mooch off of this over here. Saying I probably don't need this. I can take that back. All right. And how much power is this sucking? All right, I got plenty of power. All right, so we got to get the copper flowing here, or the uh, the coal. So that means um, I got to knuckle down on these. Oh, 
Oh, I got a connect pole. All right, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got quite, quite the dilemma here. And I do that, I do this to myself every single time. Let's see if I can get these guys hooked up here. So, uh, okay, let's do you there. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna set up input party to the left. All right. That gets us some coal going. So that brings that across. That will get coal. That will get coal. That now gets coal. And coal. All right. So, yay. Oh, cool. Look at that. Nice stuff. Grab this copper. All right, so now we want to um, there we go. So what am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, okay, we're, we're making, we're not getting enough coal in. It's coming down. I need to connect these guys. Um, so let's make some of those or these. that side and we don't need that
Well, at least I didn't cut myself off without any resource. Last time I did this, I was starving for stuff. Okay, sweet. Excellent. All right, um, so we got all the coal connected. What little coal we got coming out of this little thing, right? That's done. That's done. Sweet. <clears throat> so let's get the rest of these connected. Looks like we're missing drills too. Fine. And then we'll um, do a splitter here. We'll do that whole party input thing. All right, that works. All right, let's um, more of those made. Yay. So I believe that's all carried out or all taken care of. Uh, doing nicely on smelting here. See what's holding up our research here for some reason. Not a power thing. It been been it. Oh, okay. It's just going really slow. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, let's cancel that. That. Let's get those made. Let's maybe make another one of those. and see if we can go over that. All right, copper's good. Pop you off. All right, let's go get some stuff. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, look at there. All right.
That's right, I'm causing problems. Quite the dilemma here on how to do copper needs to go on this side so let's grab what we got here and then try to figure this out well not yet gotta wait till i get some copper built up though Guys, I am going to take a bio break real quick. So I will be right back. Let me get the words on stream going and make sure it keeps going. And I'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Holy shnikey, you guys are rocking on this thing. All right. Yeah, get this back to the game. All right. Um, pick up this copper. That was a real good game. Yeah, you guys did awesome. <clears throat> um. All right. Need to figure out. Need to figure out how I'm going to do this. <clears throat> All right. While well, I'm figuring it, get a whole bunch of those queued up. Um, copper. All right. Let's grab all that. Pick those up. And, um, uh, let's see if, if I copy like this and we go that way with the copper. So that one I can't have, it's mixed. Although I could, right? So how much? 1.6, so I can send a filtered and then filter the output of that. And then I can send it over here. like that that would work i think all right so what do we got going on over here uh that won't work that won't work nope 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 yes no don't work good 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 I need to get some copper smelting going. So I should be able to basically copy this and put this like that. But I'm going to cut out this one. Should be able to put a splitter. Like so. Pulls it. No, there's some. Uh, that I didn't copy very well, did I? No, I didn't. So. Um.
All right, so basically we got one, two, three, three to three. Um, right. And this is ugly until you get it all thinned out. Um, I'm running out of all kinds of stuff. It's going to take it take a while I think Oh, excuse me, that was rude. Trying to fill in all the gaps here. There's a bird right out the window. It started chirping and scared the bejesus out of me. And so we're gonna go like that. Um, no word. There we go. It's here. Then. Nice straight lines of spaghetti. Eat with the spoon. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs.
Oh, that one's not connected. No. All right, figure that one out. There. In, in fact, let me ask you guys. If I did a stream tomorrow about setting up a, a Raspberry Pi, would anyone be interested in doing that? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but there's people in chat that are very savvy. So what I would do here is this. All right, cool. That, and then we do a input on that side. Yeah. I might not be able to attend. I have a lot of my schedule tomorrow afternoon. Gotcha. If I'm not sick. Well, it's what I can do is I can wing it <laughs> until I get stuck and then switch over to Factorio. So we'll do that tomorrow. That should be fun. All right, I need to make more of this. Um, there we go. There we go. Or you could bake a pie. I guess I could. I do like pie. A lot. All right, so, boom. You got three raspberries? What do you do with them, editor? Not that you have to tell me, I'm just curious. Did I do that right? No. Oh, jeez. Oh, what am I doing? There you go. Fixed it. All right, then we need to go there, there. Uh, let's make 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. <clears throat> Out of that stuff. Dang it. <sighs> Grumble. I'm okay. Number one is Octopi for your 3D printer. Uh, number two has Kali Linux. I've heard of that. And the other one's a new box. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a lot. Our 3D printer is the, the Anchor M5. So they've got their own slicer and everything built in. And it's okay. <laughs> when I talk about network Chuck, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The guy's full of energy.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Oh, we need power poles. Oh, I got power poles. Oh, we need inserters. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Um. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need one, seven, fourteen, <clears throat> fifteen. Oh, I can only make ten. Let's, um, go up a bunch of this stuff. Let's just go up top side and make sure our research still has stuff. Let's see here. Hopper. All right, they got plenty of stuff. Plenty of power. everyone talking about pie, raspberry pie, orange pie, some people even talk about a pie hole. Did I stumble <laughs> into a baker convention or something? <laughs> you know, I have to admit, I never thought a little tiny computer, like a raspberry pie, would have so much support and use. But yeah, that's hilarious. All right, so we need to get that connected. Oh. Itchy ear, I got itchy ear. Ouch. Sweet. Uh... All right, so we're just gonna, the thing is I'm almost out on nanobots, so I gotta be careful. Oh, so let's just start, let's make a hundred. It take forever though. Should probably set up some automation to make that. Uh, I never thought I could do so many things with my pie, I figured one thing, it would be maxed out. Wow, really? That's amazing. 
I mean, I saw a guy that had uh, an emulator, so I don't know how legal it was, and he was playing all these awesome old classic games on his Raspberry because, you know, it, it's got all the appropriate outputs and HDMI and all that kind of stuff. God, I thought it was so cool. Uh, I got into Orange Pi as well, and it's a bit more powerful, but the support and usage of Raspberry is still quite high. And then, like you guys told me a couple days ago, the Raspberry Pi 5 just came out. Holy shnikey. That's all I can say about that. All right, let's turn on this. All right, now let's turn it off. Uh, we gotta get some more stone. Well, not really. Oh, we need to insert it. Dude. All right, hang on. There we go. I have mine running a bunch of uh, internal apps about 30 different things. Well, like I said, what I used to run was like, <clears throat> it would turn on my Wi-Fi light bulbs, um, like, I don't know, about 30 minutes before I came in. Um, and then it would turn them off, you know, around noon because I didn't need them anymore. Just to see if I could understand how to do home assistant, that's all. And I have, a lot of fun with it. All right, let's get this one going. But I tell you what, being able to look at this simple recipe to make our supper last night and not be inundated with ads. I know I shouldn't be that so flabbergasted, but I was impressed. I'm full. All right. Uh, five, 10, 15, 20 of those. I'm gonna set up some automations here so I don't have to keep making all this stuff. Hmm. Do I know green science? I do. All right, so. Let's um let's turn those off. <clears throat> Let me do some virtual thinking here. Yeah, I know. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Now, the way I play Factorio, I like to use the bus. It's the only only thing that makes any sense to me. So if I copy this and let's say I want to bring the bus all the way over here, not there. So, and then what, what I want to do is put a gap. Let's see here. Then we go one, two, three, four. But does the bus have wheels? Does it go round and round? <laughs> All right, and then on science. Oh, geez.
Nope. Needs to go down lower, much lower. Let's say all the way down. Oh, you know what? I have that one gap I should fill with a smelter and start doing steel. Steel? Yeah, steel. I'm gonna go do that right now. I don't think I have all the resources for it. Actually, I should put it on the outside one. That's what I should do. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got one, two, three, and this fourth one will be to steal. So let's uh, stop doing that for a sec. Then if I do my early smelting, do that, that, that goes there. And then we bring coal. That's going to make steel. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of that and I'm going to automate making some stuff so I don't have to keep doing it. All right. need to make a spot for the old stuff I'm not using anymore so I don't keep carrying it around. place to put it all right All right, so if you want to have some fun and mock me and make fun of me tomorrow, I'm going to set up, redo my Raspberry Pi. So I've got my little SD card reader. 
Pi is running right now. I mean, it's running, but tomorrow we'll we'll flash the SD. Put the Pi on there, get connected. <clears throat> Waiting for a bunch of stuff to be made. Then I'm going to try to automate the stuff I need to make the distribute stuff. That didn't make any sense. So tomorrow's goal will be to get the OS installed. Cool. Um, and then to get um, Home Assistant and then Pi Hole. And then with Home Assistant, I have to figure out how to get a couple of the add-ons. Maybe. All right, what else should I work on? Oh, steel. Okay. Get that going. Ooh, can't do that. All right. All right, so we've got undergrounds, then we got those, so I can automate stuff. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and, uh... oh, I need inserters too. These will get automated through my uh, red and green science as soon as I get that up and running. I don't want to run all the way down and not get these little boxes made. So I'm going to just, all right, let's, let's do this. We'll uh, kill that one. Kill that, kill that, make five. Oh, that was, that was pretty fast. Everything else is, uh, Ooh, okay. And all right, sure. Might as well. Um, let's see here. If I want to make, um, I'm going to go make it up here out. All right, we'll do it right here. And that would be those. I'll come back to that in a sec. Alright. In here, I want to put... I don't use those anymore. And... Gun. Put the gun away. I guess that was it. Little room. Hey, Otter, how you doing? Morning. <clears throat> All right, let's see how far I can get on my little automation here. So I want to make my little nanobots, and I want to put those into a bucket so I can pick it up. Where's my bucket? All right, so now we need to feed it those, which comes from budgies. Comes from that. So again, we need a bucket, and that's going to be filled with those. Any special mods? Yeah, I got a few mods. Oh, geez. Hang on. Sorry. There we go. All right, now let's run. Oh, we need power. So. All 
Uh, I guess I could save. Just go this way. There we go. Now this also needs those. So. Wait, what do I need? Those. That would be those. Now those need cogs, which again, from there, another bucket and more power. Then more of those. I currently getting kicked around by freight forward mod. What does that do? Freight forwarding. Sounds very intriguing. I'm going to look it up. Factorio freight forwarding. A small overhaul with a focus on long distance logistics variety transport containerized items across the land sea using trains and sh ships oh man i'm ex-navy i like ships i will not lie all right now we got to put circuits all right so let's uh get circuits and to make circuits we need um another bucket uh oh i'm out of buckets Um, more of those and more power. We also got to get, um, actually let's do it like this. Okay. And this would be those, right? So the greens are waiting for that. That comes from there. And that just needs cop. So, if I'm doing this right, I should be automating this, basically. Look at that. Oh, sweet. All right. And we just need, like, that many. Nice. Look what I did. All right, so we're going to fill up all these buckets here. Turn that off. And come down here. So we're gonna put this in there. I have this that can go in uh, there. I grab that, that, nice, that, that. Now I want to get steel being made here, so I need to. Oh, I don't have any stone. All right, get some stone. I got stone. Hey. Okay, I didn't want to do that. All right, so now, let's see here. That's pretty full. That's full. I'll take those. <laughs> All right, let's um, turn those on since we have a supply of them now coming in. Let's try to get steel online. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five, six, seven, eight. Um, 
Oh, look at that. We got steel. Woohoo. Cool. All right. Um, let's go over here and finish the copper out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five, ten, eleven, twelve. Did I miss one? Okay, we'll see you later, man. You have a good one. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it very much. There we go. All right, sweet. Now what I need to do is load up on the iron plates. Uh, do that, 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 that. Then we're gonna go run up, pull these up. Drakus, I'm doing good. How about you? All right. Uh, just attempting to get some things up and running. Looks like we don't need that anymore. Okay, so copper's good. Let's. Uh, that one's topped off. Let's get that one topped off. Just uh, making myself some nanobot modules, capsules, whatever they are. I just got my um, copper, iron, and steel going slightly. Hey, look, steel. Uh, um, so now the big, big what if <laughs> is um, I have to. Uh, Like a bunch of resources. Wow, that re wasn't really a whole lot, was it? No, yeah, it wasn't. All right. Um, so this is going to be the manufacturing of our red and green science down here. Oh, no, that's fine. I got a list right there. Oh, you are more than welcome. Are these going slow because of power? No, power's okay. I tell you what I should work on is uh, two more of these and then one, two, three, and four of those. So 
Let me get more, more power going. Yeah, more power. So I'm going to have to uh, make a whole bunch of, oh, wait, let's make, how many of those do I need? 30. All right. Let's go get this extra power online. All right, can't do anything else because it requires red and green. We're getting there. Oh. I need some of that. Doggone it. All right, well, I can still... All right, if I do that, then I should be able to copy that. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, we ran out of power poles, too. All right, we're making those. I've been informed that we're having a your bosses and uh your bosses sauerkraut and potato salad for supper tonight mm -hmm. all right so oh we gotta wait for a pipe dang it that there's my axe what is that is that my gun oh that's my gun i guess weird saw that stop pick up some resources here That'll do.
All right, so we need to pull some power down. <clears throat> Looks like I, I need to make um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we'll say 20 more of those. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag the power this way right now. Trees. Go up. All right, so now they got power. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Hey, they got power. Can I make lights yet? Oh, I can. All right. Slowly coming together. Inch by inch. Okay. All right, so the output needs to flip flop. I love it when a plan comes together. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. This will be our output. Okay. Wait. That means um, we have stuff we have to feed in. No, nope. remind me. Hannibal Smith. Oh, from A Team O. I didn't watch too much A Team. I have to admit, growing up, I didn't watch too much of it. So, what I want to do is I want to put the science way over here. Probably going to run into some biters. Well, I, I know there was uh, Mr. T, Dirk Benedict, and I can't remember the actor that played the leader. Oh, there's also the actor that played uh, uh, Lieutenant Barkley from Next Generation. He played a, a nervous guy in Next Generation and a whack job in A-Team. bad all right head this way all i know is that the last four members of the original made cameos in the new at oh did they really Oh, that's awesome. I love it when they do that. All right, so I'm going to put the science right here. Oh, 
Oh, he was. That's too bad. All right, so. Then we'll, what we'll do here is we'll convert. Um, those to those. That should work. Oh, of course I don't have any of those on me. That's sweet. Nice. Uh, so then we'll do, this will be the red and green. Trees. It was facing the original, played an inmate, if memory serves, going to the spa that face had weaseled his way into prison. Why would he weasel himself into prison? He played uh, Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica. Dirk Benedict. The original Battlestar. I gotta get power stretched all the way over here. Oh, I gotta make the science too. Can I make those? I can make four. I got three I can pick up, so that'll work out. They're all there.
All right. Looks like all we got to do is start sending resources to it, and that should be making our stuff. All right, so I need to pick up some more stuff, by the way. How do I feel about this game? You, what, you mean emotionally? Uh, phys physiology? Uh, it's a fun game. Philosophical. Oh, itchy nose. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm not a person that's the, the I, I'm pro, I, I can say that I'm not efficient in most games I play, especially engineering games that require building, uh, automation and stuff like that. I, I, I get by. Um, every single time I play this game, I learn a little bit more that helps me want to play this game even more. I probably didn't really answer your question, did it? Now, I think I was one of the lucky ones that when the game came out, I bought it. It was kind of like everyone was getting it, so I bought it, and it was only like, I think I paid 20 bucks, and then it went up. So, which isn't a bad thing. It's still a great game with all the mods. Ooh. How are we doing here? Good. 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 And good. All right, sweet. And nice. All right, so actually, let's, um... Dude, have those. All right, we're going to go over here and Oh, geez, really? Let's Oh, let's do this then. Hang on. All right, let me grab this. Put those in there. Put those in there. Those in there. whole bunch of these and I mean a whole bunch of So first things first, we have three outputs. So we have to do uh, some three to fours here.
All right, so let's get the iron coming down first. think those line up oh I'm off all right well that's okay I can still do Let's get a line of copper coming down here. Um. I'm gonna do this manually so I don't use up unnecessary resources. Here are the trees. Sweet. All right, turn that off. This is the iron that we need. time to make splitters and undergrounds and stuff. Oh, 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 Um, I'll make those, those.
Just kind of limping along here. There we go. Should start flowing down into purple. And for the copper, Okay, now we got copper going in. Sweet. Oh, look at that. We've got belts, inserters. Yeah, and science. All right, so let's go run down this. should have science labs as he's seven of them there's a long jog oh i'm gonna need more than seven though yep i am uh three short can i make three i can one two three all right guys i'll be back i have to hit the head so we're gonna do that and things and fun I'm out of here. Be right back.
Bank letter? No! I'm back. Wow. That was close. You guys did really awesome though. Major Mayhew's got it right. That was a good game, guys. Nice. Nicely done, everyone. Oh, look at this. We have got science. Green and red science. Ooh-wee. Let's do that. That. Those. Wait. Those. So confused. Those. All right. Damn, and so slow. <clears throat> so once again, uh, tomorrow is Friday and I'm gonna start off the stream. I'm going to take my, my, my Pi 4, install Raspberry OS, install Home Assistant, try to get some other stuff installed. I don't know what I'm doing. So if you, you're at all interested or you have any sort of experience, chime on in. I'll be looking forward to people posting stuff in Discord and chat. It's going to be crazy fun. My ultimate goal is I, I would like to get... <clears throat> well, I'm running Home Assistant right now, but I have no automations going. The only thing I have is a button on my Stream Deck, which is really cool. I can press a button, my, green, my, my lights, and it's so fast. It's so much faster than I how I used to do it. So I'm really... Really excited about that. All right, so what I want to do here is tailor this back. And we are going to, um, can I bring this over here and get rid of that? Yeah, okay. Then I'm going to put a splitter and we're going to send, um, those that way. Oh, wrong way. That way. There we go. Then. Then we can take these. I'm going to start putting them in a bucket. That's right, a bucket. Somewhere. There it is. I need some power over here. There. Yay. All right. Woo. All right, so I'm just gonna go up here, scoop all this stuff up. Nice, all right. And we can get everything else connected like it should be. All right, let's get the copper going again. It's that. I'm not worried about that down there yet. And Cool. 
Oh, we got to go fix our power. So let's see here. We're going to need um, one, two, one, two, three, four. I could have dumped all that down there. Dumped. All right, so. I can actually do, I think, four more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can do four more. One, two, three, four. So I'll scoop all this up and then just plop it. All right, so we're gonna swap those bullets. And actually, why don't I stop doing these get into those and then there I need uh, four more of those and two more of those. All right, so um, one, two, and what did I say, four? Cool. How's the power now? Better, much better, all right. Hey, Chris, good morning to you. Yeah, I started a new game because all my saves disappeared. Probably something I did. Um, For some reason, my C drive only had like two gigabytes of free space. When I went to launch Photoshop, it gave me a warning about my scratch disk, which I, I know what that is. So I didn't have time to figure out why I was out of space. So I pointed to another drive. Photoshop launched just fine. And then last night, I actually moved Factorio from an SSD over to my M2 drive. And um, I didn't have any saves after that. I don't know, I don't know what happened. So, the ultimate goal is to get eight rockets to launch at a time. That's the big goal. And I'm taking a break from Starfield because supposedly there's a patch coming. It could be next week. It could be the week after. I just, I want to wait until there's a definitive date and I can come up with some sort of a plan. So I want to get back into Factorio because I love playing the game. It's such a fun game. Tomorrow though, we're going to try something I've never done before. I'm gonna set up my Raspberry Pi uh, differently. 
and uh, hopefully chat will be able to uh, chime in and help out. So I'll be in Discord, getting advice, commands, what to do, what not to do. Oh, finally. All right. Now we got some ammo, some good ammo. There we go. Trying to get some more power generation online here. One more. There we go. And 18 megawatts. Nice. All right. Let's go down here. We have a little automation going on with my nanobot things. Going to check in with them. They're good there. Could use a little bit more. Oh, that's all you get. And okay, pop that off. All right. Oh, didn't realize I was missing some drills in here. Uh, the Starfield patch is for weapon skins, polka dots, or coming folks, all for $19.95 plus tax. No, there's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the, uh, the, uh, the slider for FOV, DL, DL double S, and some other stuff, but yeah, okay. How you doing, Longfellow? <laughs> uh... I mean, I got lucky last time. Um, I have a mod installed that will back up the executable when it tries to be updated. You're good? Nice. And so I was able to still play using the old, exec the old executable because of uh, the script extender. So that's important. All right, how are we doing down here? We have steel. Uh, is there a suit of, um, okay. We're not, we're doing research on, right, okay. I need some stuff. What I need to do is, um, let's see here. Let's say, uh, um, Say right about here and here, we start filling up stuff. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to use these because that's all I have. And I believe, yep, we have a power source. We'll go this way with it right now. So yeah, if you want to come in and see me pull my hair out, you know what I mean. Um, it's going to be tomorrow. So I need, I need some of this stuff right now. I didn't get a whole lot when I did that. All right, I'll finish that up in a little bit. I just want to get some stuff. So we're going to go down and drop off all this red science. Uh, f a four. Yeah. The only thing I want it for is I want to do some home assistant automation. And I've had a little bit of taste of ad guard for what it can do for blocking ads. And I know you can do a browser extension, but I don't want to have to do a browser extension on every single device in the house. So I'm not looking to block ads on YouTube. I have premium, so I can get around the ads. But when I'm trying to cook a recipe and I'm using my phone and there's more ads than content on the recipe, that's nuts. So I had a little taste of it a couple days ago. I thought I did a pretty good job setting it up and it worked. 
except for uh, Alex uh, likes to watch these uh, uh, a couple of channels that do cold case investigations. And um, a couple of the videos. Why does my GoPro randomly power on and power off? That is weird. Hang on, let me check something here real quick. Wait for it. 17% power, so it's not powering off? Strange. <clears throat> All right, so it's powering off. All right. I don't know why. I wonder if I, when I pull, I don't know. Really weird. All right. Now it's getting a charge. All right. And it's not on. Weird. It happened. Oh, now it came on. All right. So why did it come on? Let's just leave it alone. See a red light. Tells me it's charging. All right. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> oh, yay. Power poles. Neat. Oh, better armor. Neat. We're going to go with that one. So, see, so you're going to mess with it, break it, typical, yes. Well, like I said, I'm running it right now. I have Home Assistant running, so it does a couple of things for me. Um, and I'm using AdGuard, but I'm going to the DNS through my router, which I don't know if I really want to do it that way or not. So I'm not a network guy. All right, here we go. All right, I've got a, I got a, an out of the blue question. If you're watching a YouTube video on your phone or on your TV, can you actually tell the difference between 1080p, 2K and 4K? Does it really make, matter that much? Yay. All right, so now we can take this. Boom. Because most of the time, I watch movies in either 1080 or 720. Um, and um, I play, my monitors are set for 1080. 1080p. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I go to a big screen theater, I would love max resolution to see all the prettiness. Yes, sir. I have a 4K smart TV and on that I can tell the difference. However, on my phone, not really. All right. Mm. All right, so. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We don't have to. Uh, make those anymore sweet and um okay so i'm going to turn off my nanobots because i think i can lay these out faster
on the Pi 4 here at best, I can see everything in 720, which is wow for the tiny little bar barely heat sunk video processor. Well, the reason why I ask is um, I recorded my first uh, DIY. It wasn't really a DIY. It was more of a question about my, my little workbench dilemma. I put it up on my YouTube channel and I believe that's in 2K. Um, and it allows me to record four hours in, in 2K. But when I change it to 1080p, I get seven hours and 45 minutes. And I'm going, let me think about that. Um, I put all my game videos up at 1080p. And I know there's a lot of gamers that do, you know, higher resolution stuff like that. I don't think it's, um, I don't, I don't think a lot of people would really notice, you know? All right. So now military science, what do I need for military science? Ooh. All right. So I got to get, I got to get stone up and going. All right. All right. So can I do engines? I can do engines. Ooh. Ooh, I should probably, Ooh, oh, that's going to require. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get that going. I'm going to make a car so I can drive around. Um, oh, I'm working on a car right now. Uh, let's get that going. Get that going. Military science. Need that if I want to do military science. All right. I watch most of my... Well, our smart TV is 4K too. We don't have a, a data cap. I have some friends back in California. They're with Comcast and their basic package is they, they get like <clears throat> 15 or 20 gigs a month. So when they're watching TV, if they're doing 4K, it gobbles that up very fast. And I, I told them, I go, well, you need to lower your screen resolution of, of what you're watching. And they go, okay. And I know they didn't do it, so. I get it. All right. Um, we gotta wait till we research military science. So if I look at my map here, there's a 1.1 million stone. That's a 1.2 million stone. So is, I think what I'll do is I'll pull the stone this way. We're going to have to split it because we need stone and stone brick. All right, let's do that. So do I have drills on me? I have one drill. Wow. There we go. I need some more. Okay, let's grab one of these and let's put that right there. All right. Um, let's copy these and start. All right, so I'll filter that one out. We need to get some more stuff. All 
All right, let me um that. There we go. Do that, and then we do that. Um, don't think I'm still using those anymore. Oh, and that. There we go. All right, let's see here. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. And we're going to go and do this. We go down and get some more things. What's going on here? I guess I can also, um, So again, on the military, I need coal, which I have. I have that. I've got those. I got to make those. All right. so interesting so if i take oh i don't have a furnace thought i'd have at least one in my inventory all right so let's grab some stone and if we make a furnace so to make a brick got to go through a furnace all right so what we'll do is we'll set up a little smelting, early career smelting. Oh, 
But what I want to do is get out of the range of those guys. Let's do this again. So if I make one furnace and I put it right here. I put coal in that. I can't make those yet? Oh, I thought I could. Where did oh those are right there? Alright, so hang on. Let's um back up a little bit here. Make those first. Then military science. Um then those. And then those. what I think I wanted to do is on this, we're going to go and read that to that. Yeah. You're a tell. Um, missing a drill. There we go. Um, how many? Five. All right, so if I go to five, okay. I want to speed my research up, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to need power poles. I got power poles. I'm going to need... So if we copy what we have, let's see if I can do this without messing it up. That work? Oh, that works. Holy bajoli, this takes forever. Oops, what did I do? Oh, inventory. What? Oh, yay. Wait, what did I research? I forgot. Furnaces? 
Nice. Sweet. I went fast. All right, so now we gotta wait for the inserters. Those went by a lot faster than whatever I was researching before. I guess it was these guys. Yeah, it was. All right, that's weird. All right. There's two more. Here they come. Nope. Nope. Plus it needs to go there. Not up there. Not over here. Well, I guess so. We need three. One, two, and three. There we go. One more. Up. Uh, over here, too. There we go. Good. Looks like we're good. All right. <laughs> did I research the military? Oh, I did. All right. So military science has been researched. All right. Now it's the long walk back home. Not that long. Not that long. Also, in regards to your workbench issue, I'd try to use a drill jig for angled holes, flush up the front ends as much as possible and just screw them together. Um, okay. So the, um, hang on a sec. I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, I think basically I'm going to do the same thing. I'm worried about one thing. I'm going to attach casters to this workbench. So I've got to make sure, sorry, during your ad break, I watch you. No, that's fine. Um, let me, let me, um, see if I can illustrate something here. <laughs> All right, hang on. Got to find something. Somewhere. There it is. Is that it? That's it. All right. So, as you can see, these don't sit real flush. And mainly because this is brand new two by fours, brand new plywood, MDF. This is reclaimed two by fours. So I send it through a planer and a, and a, and a, and, and this thing, a table saw. So that's why you'll see gaps at the top, <clears throat> but from here to the other side and from here to the other side, it's 24 inches from this to here, it's 24 inches. This is 24 inches long. Also it's, this is four feet. That's two feet. So this is square with this, as in proportional. But um, I'm wondering that if I put uh, um, clamps, 
I have really good clamps to clamp this here, clamp that there. What I want to do is roll this on the side, of course, without these things on it. And I want to make sure I get the all the legs. So this and this level and flush. So that way, when I however I attach this, when I put casters here, I don't have some sort of weird wonky thing going on. Um, now I have four inch screws. So yeah, I could, I could, uh, I could do something like that. Or I can buy some really long lag bolts, do some pilot holes and screw those in. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we want to get the military science. So where is this and that? All right. All right, so let's walk this over. Um, let's see if I put another one of those there, that would be about there. And then we'll put this one about there. Oh, I gotta make uh, these. Because on, on, um, Whenever I get this fastened together, then I still have a little bit of a gap. I'd use backer pieces that are glued to the backs of the legs. Screw them down as well. One backer, when you, you mean just like one big piece that goes across? Because if, if this is flush and, and level and, and square, then I don't have to worry about the casters being wonky. And then of course I have to get this uh, one piece that is long enough to span the distance of two legs and make them meet. Right, gotcha, okay, all right. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I can do a little one by material for, for here and there, here and there. Glue it, screw it, attach casters. Yep. And then the gap I have not from here, but that goes from, because the bench I can scoot all the way up. And then I think I've got about a five eighths of an inch gap, maybe, maybe a maybe a little bit difference. And, and then to do that, I have some uh, adjusting feet that I'm either going to attach to the bottom of this or attach them to another sheet of plywood with some rails and just uh, get it up and then, you know, one step at a time. Appreciate it, Longfellow. All right.
Yeah, the, um, the, the two workbenches, I actually use the exact same design. It just, instead of having a two by four, you know, two feet by four feet, I made a two feet by two feet. All right. So do we have, oh, I can make those, all right. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go through the slow process of upgrading our smelters so they give us stuff a little bit faster. And I have to get steel over here too. So again, tomorrow, playing around with the Pi 4. If we if we get it all running and I still got time, then we'll pick up Factorio. If I run into issues, then I'll pick up Factorio. Uh, okay, so here, and then let's, oh, I need more steel. Oh, okay. I didn't have that much steel, I guess. I got steel down here. Oh, wow. All right, so what I want to do is take this and do that. Nice. Um, I need to get coal. Uh, okay, that's easy. Or is it? I should do. I have coal right here that I can just branch off, send over. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do this. Let's go and upgrade yellows to blues. And let's go down and get a whole bunch of yellows. And then that way I don't have to make yellows. I can just, you know, do that. Oh, while I'm down here, I might as well finish the military science. Oh, sweet. And we can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Nice. Um... Sure, I'm walking around with a lot of coal. Uh. All right, um, we gotta make some of those. Excuse me. All 
All right, so while I'm, while I'm making stuff for down here, which I need to make, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 14, I gotta make 14, five, 10, 15, all right. going to that so this is ready to go we just have to turn that on and the other side right now we can just uh, do that All right, sweet. So eventually the steel is going to have to be um, like this. Oh, not that. Dang it. Steel is going to have to be one, two, three, four. That's going to have to be steel. Right now, it only comes from one lane of source. One, one source. Yeah. Okay, here's the copper. Wait a minute, am I using the right one? Hang on. Yep, all right. Cookies over there uh, making weird noises. This is our iron. Hmm. All right, stone bricks we're making. This is a steel. That's the coal. So we need drag coal source over here. So what I want to do is um, I take this. I 
Okay, so this is gonna be coal. Uh, um. That's going to be the steel. This is going to seem incredibly, um, uh, not make any sense, but, um, 1.1 million. So if I take one off of this, drop it down and connect it, this will last longer than this. I think. I need to get some more. Um, belts. So we could also do uh, the car. Nice. Oh, actually, let's uh, cancel the car. Let's do research, then the car. Landfill. Fluid handling. Weird name. Railway. Uh, okay. Hey, Marius, how you doing? Are oh, you doing fine? Making sure I didn't accidentally make the belt go the wrong way. I've done that before. Oh, yeah. Need to drop this lumber off. Thank you, Lynn. All right, then we'll do that.
All right, then we got steel and the brick. All right. All right, so for steel, Puka keeps sneezing. You okay, Puka? You got cold? No. Big idiot. All right. So the steel, it's like a tight fit. Yep. All right, let's see here. Oh, that barely made it. Wow. Um, go down and stock up on some more. Here comes the coal, finally. So, um, right. So, let's see here. Four to one would be something like that. I think I'm just gonna if I sneak down here. I'm probably gonna regret it. Yeah, we're gonna just go down side here. Right now, anyway.
Here comes the uh, steel trickling in. Coal arrived. Oh, we don't have all the. Uh... There they are. There we go. Almost forgot about that. Oops. Um, let's see, I don't have the conveyor belts right now. Maybe if I switch this guy, there we go. Oh. Bricks. There they are. Here they come. Oh, look at that military science has been achieved. Cool. All right, guys, tomorrow again, I'm gonna play with the Raspberry Pi, installing the OS, Home Assistant, Pi Hole, and some other things. Um, hope you guys can chime in tomorrow. And if, if it gets to where I can't get anywhere or something doesn't work and not enough people in chat to help out, uh, we'll move back over to Factorio tomorrow. So guys, let's roll some credits. And I get to do the credit music, credit music. Wow, credit music. Guys, thanks for the new follows. Appreciate it. Those were all yesterday. I don't know why that hasn't reset. I'll have to reset that myself. Pussy, thanks for the, uh, the uh, raid. Guys, I'm out of here. You have a good one.